What is up, y'all? I'm your girl, Carolita, and this is 93.5 Delta College Radio, and I am, well, not in the building, but I'm speaking to Ty Ray. How are you? Good, Carolita. How about you? (laughs) I'm excited to be here. I'm excited that you're excited. How are you? Oh, pretty good, actually. Pretty good. How to get bored. Um, Just relaxing right now. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited that you uh, replied back and was able to get into this interview. <laughs> um, so Yeah, I, I was excited. I'm like, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Especially for the schools, you know? <laughs> right. And we're local. We're um, Stockton and you're in Modesto, correct? Yep, I'm in Modesto. So yeah, 209 yeah. stand up. <laughs> 209, that's right. <laughs> so um, how is your mom to start off? If, it, if that's okay. My mom's good. She's actually yeah. um, eating a uh, late breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, good. She, she's doing pretty good. And you're still taking your walks. I was on your live when you were in Pacifica. I was like, okay, so I'm so slow. My, I was like, wait, they got that in Vanessa? <laughs> I wish. I would never leave. <laughs> so how are your hikes? Yeah, that walk was cool. It was nice. Yeah. I want to go back. Um I'm trying to plan something to go maybe like twice a month or something like that. Get a group of people. I think it'd be fun. And you go out there with your family? Uh, I went with my cousin and then my aunt mm-hmm. and then my cousin's daughter and then uh, some friends. That that's like, that looks so nice. And you guys walked up to like a waterfall? Yeah, it was like a waterfall. And it was like uh, the tide was kind of high, though. I didn't go all down there, though. No. <laughs> I'm like, nope. <laughs> I can't get you that swim? close to the water. <laughs> I could swim, yeah, okay. but I never swam in the ocean like that. No? <laughs> like, take Man. me away. <laughs> I end up in Japan or somewhere. Oh, no. No, no <laughs> lie. When I went with my dad, I got under an undercurrent. So it was pulling me out. Thank God my dad was there, but he pulled me out. Dang. But I did get cut I know that was under scary. the undercurrent. <laughs> um, so how did you get on to 90 Day Fiance? So I ended up applying um, about um, April 2021. Um, and then um, I heard back from one of the producers and we did like a phone interview and then um, I never heard anything back. And then about uh, August 2022, I ended up um, hearing from another producer and um, I was like, eh, you know, I didn't really want to do it at first. The whole time, you know, I was just like, you know what? I was going through that crazy situation. And then I was like, dang, like, uh, let me see. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I just went on a whim and applied and then they were interested in the story and, and everything that was going on with me. And I was like, wow. <laughs> were you ever scared to show your business or like your, cause it gets pretty like emotional with um, your story. Did you ever get scared to show that side of you? Yeah, I was really scared to show that side, mm-hmm. especially, you know, you have people online who are like trolls or, or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, they'll basically like put you under a microscope and they like, examine every single thing. And it's crazy. But uh, I was like, you know what? I should just do it. You know what I mean? Don't let anyone stop me from, from doing something that, you know, I do want to try and experience. And um, I don't want anyone else to put fear in my, you know what I mean, inside of me. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity and a good, you know, and a good way to kind of tell my story, you know, about me and Carmela. And you know, even though Carmela wasn't Carmela, it's still, you know what I mean? Still told a story about stuff. <laughs> you know, what's crazy. My, uh, my daughter's name is Carmela. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I have never heard anybody name Carmela, and then all of a sudden this pops up. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> how was how was your process of being on 90 Day Fiance? Oh, the process. Mm-hmm. Like, how is oh, it the with the cameras? Like, are are you um, still shy from the cameras or anything like that? At first, it was really awkward just because I didn't know anybody and. Uh, <laughs> Then, um, like, after, like, the first day, like, you don't even really ro- realize the cameras anymore. And, mm-hmm. you know, all the producers and, you know, the camera guys, the audio the assistants, everyone's really friendly and nice. And they make you feel comfortable. Like, you don't even notice the cameras. And you just kind of, like, you know what I mean? You just you basically just live your life under the camera that you don't really realize. <laughs> right. So, you're, um, how do you deal? You brought up the trolls. How do you deal with those trolls on a daily basis coming into your into your realm on the internet <laughs> you know what's crazy they don't really reach out you know what i mean no they'll just do it on other pages so um. i just so if i like comment on one of those pages i'll just like like i get my phone i'll put like i'll go like this and then just cover up the comments and then type my comments so i don't see 
or anyone else posted. <laughs> 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 but then, <laughs> just out of sight, out of mind. That's what I learned because um, everyone was telling me that I just like don't read the comments. And I got a lot of good advice from other cast members and former cast members who just said just ignore them or whatever. So I know some people like just look at all of them. Are you um, like friends with cast members now? Like, are you are are you guys making connections now? Yeah, I talked to a lot of them. Um, on my season, I talked to uh, Riley Statler. Um, I talked to also David um, mm -hmm. as well. So uh, we've been talking a little bit. Um, and then I talked to like past cast members. Um, I talked to Jasmine. She was really nice. Um, I talked to Lisa uh, uh, Rishi. He's really cool too. Uh, Richard from 90 Day UK. There's a lot of them. Um, Cam Bally, I talked to her too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the are Avery, you, a lot of them. <laughs> are you hanging out with them yet? I haven't hung out with them no. yet, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a fun time. I know, right? <laughs> <all together. laughs> Is there anything that you would change about being on TV? Uh, change about being on TV? Um, mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Probably not. I kind of like that. They got the authentic you know, self. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. This is what I kind of about TLC is that they show like normal people, like you know, like on certain reality shows that people who like have like millions of dollars and big fancy nice houses. I like the fact that TLC shows people who aren't like in that situation, you know, like mm -hmm. real people, and I like that. Um, would you do you still get noticed? Do you get noticed on the street? Uh, I haven't been out that much, mm -hmm. but I did travel. I flew. I got noticed at the airport. Um, um, a few times, uh, some people actually DM'd me and said, was that you at the airport? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> and then she was like, them, I was too scared to say something. <laughs> not like, them wow. taking <laughs> pictures of the back of your head and be like, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, yeah, that's me. And that's a bad <laughs> angle. <laughs> it would be them getting a bad angle, too. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> so speaking of traveling, I see that you're traveling a lot of places. How is that? How is that going? Is it part of TLC or uh, are you just traveling? Oh, uh, well, um, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I would, but um, <laughs> I would say, no, it's all right. Um, the traveling I did, uh, I went to Hawaii. I did, went with my sister and my sister-in-law. That was just um, for their birthday. They both oh, uh, cool. have many birthdays. So that was my first time in there. And um, I do have a few more trips I want to go to. You know, I kind of like traveling alone, too. It's really peaceful. Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, really. Mm, yeah, I was too at first. But then I'm like, you know what? It's, it's like a good step in the right direction. This might be like, if you want to try it, go somewhere like not too far away. Somewhere how, was safe. Your, how was your sister and brother? Speaking of sisters, the I know you have more than not what are on TV, but like, how are the, basically your castmates, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They're good. Um, I talked to my sister this morning. I talked to her pretty much every day. Um, my brother, mm -hmm. I talked to him today too. Um, and then my, I have two more siblings, uh, another sister and another brother. Uh, you'll probably see my sister later on this season. Oh, okay. And then my ever, other brother, he didn't get the show. Were they ever hesitant to get on the show? Like, ah, uh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> you know what? If they were, they didn't tell me. <laughs> no. Uh, everyone's just saying, I hope I don't look fat on TV. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's everyone's comment. <laughs> I know. I've been hearing since I was a kid, the camera adds 10 pounds. I'm like, true. <laughs> Hopefully it adds it in the right places. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> so is there um so your sister and they didn't tell you that they're hesitant, but do they like being on TV? And like I see that your family does watch parties too, which is so cool. Which are you ever nervous too? Like not the watch party. <laughs> being judged by your family, that's like the worst. Uh the first episode we had a really big watch party. I was terrified. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> uh, it didn't. <laughs> Did I didn't you even watch the episode before, but... though. <laughs> no, I didn't tell nobody. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and like everyone gasped. I wish I would have recorded it, but it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but the watch parties, yeah, we uh, we haven't done one in a while just because um, I've been out of town, uh, you know, on Sundays for like the past two or three weeks. But mm -hmm. we're gonna try to get it started, get back onto that, and then we're gonna have like a big uh, tell-all party. So that's gonna Ooh, be nice. tell-all party where. Uh, somewhere here. Hopefully, you can come. I'm gonna drive. Yeah, I'm gonna drive out there. Right? Yeah. You might. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You're only thirty You're minutes away. <laughs> right, right down the street. <laughs> We're having a Manteca, so we can go half. Oh, Manteca, <laughs> fifteen minutes. That's what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> so, 
is there anything else that you want to tell me that you can tell me? Because I know you can't say it all. And I want to get you back when when the tell all is back, if I can. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. We'll come back on here. I know we're uh, running out of time. So anything you want to say before you get out? <laughs> what else could I say? Uh, you know what? It was a lot of fun. I'll say that. Um, yeah. It was a good experience, uh, you know, putting myself out there and then opening up because I'm not used to doing that. Mm-hmm. And um, you know what? I just encourage people to do that, you know, because some people, you know, might be therapeutic to them. Yeah. Um, and then show wise, yeah, it's a lot more going on. So um, I think it's, I think the ending's pretty good. Um, you know, we didn't, uh, I don't want to say too much, but yeah, it's definitely going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. I think you guys are going to like it. Yeah, you got to say, um, make sure you watch me every Sunday on TLC. <laughs> yeah, make sure you watch me every Sunday on TLC or uh, Max or Discovery Plus. Yeah. And uh, soon the delusions will go away, too. <laughs> My yeah. delusion on this. <laughs> I didn't want to ask about that. I'm like, let me not. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Did you feel the I mean, at the time, I was just living in that moment, so I didn't really realize it. Until mm-hmm. I've seen it on camera and I'm like, dang, I look like a nut crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> but there's always a chance of being like, what if, what if this, what if this, you know? Yeah. I'm running it all back. I'm like, you know what? It could be this or that or whatever. <laughs> so Don't maybe talk about bad. the aliens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. I think it was just like <laughs> you. you just like being positive, which is hard to find nowadays, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. And people mm-hmm. just go straight to like conclusions. So I'm just yeah. like, that's kind of more optimistic about it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's for me. real. I'm going to go to the conclusion, girl. I'm like, he <laughs> lied. He did this. Da, da, da. Oh, I'm horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming. That's all the time we have. This is 93.5 Delta College Radio. Bye.